Mm. We'll relax you. <laughs> Welcome to the Energetic Releasing Technique sponsored by the Port Townsend University for the Healing Arts. I'm Michael Gilman. Um, this is the second lesson in our class and this week, uh, after viewing what uh, the lesson last week, I've decided to do a whole body session at this point to show you um, how this whole technique flows. Uh, if you remember the, the first lesson, I spent most of the time talking about the fundamentals, and then I started working on the foot and leg. And um, we're just going to have to leave that for the moment, and we're going to be doing the whole body. So as we go through the whole body, I'll be talking and explaining what we're going to do. But don't worry about um, remembering any of this at this particular time. Um, we're, going to, we're going to be going back next lesson again and really looking very closely at the legs, and then we'll move through the body in that way. Okay, but this week we're going to just breeze right on through. And since this is an hour, and I generally take up to an hour and a half to do a session, I'm going to have to move through more quickly than I normally would. So the things that I'm going to be doing, some things I'll shortcut, only do a few to show you what the techniques are. And I feel a little sorry for the model for John, again, John Considine, who's my, I really appreciate him coming here. and. Um, feel sort of sorry because he's going to be getting a sort of a half a treatment, but in any case, um, we're all in this together to learn. All right, so um, here we go. Uh, as I said last week, we start off with the client or student lying down. Now, I'm going to be doing a, a body reading lesson uh, some point later. Um, later on in the course. And I think you'll find that very interesting, but uh, we were not going to do it today. Anyway, so John is lying on his back. Remember, the heels are very close to the end of the table. All right. Okay, so I put myself uh, basically in tune with this person, with their energy, get myself relaxed and ready to go open myself up to the universal energy. Good. Okay. Then, start out, the first thing I do is just to see and experience the lower leg, the, the relative tension or relaxation, what maybe, what I might need to focus on. And I do both legs first so I can compare. You know, maybe one side would be tighter than the other, one side would be looser. On John, actually, uh, his left leg is, is a little tighter than his right. And uh, these are attributable to many different factors, but hopefully we're going to be uh, balancing them up as we go. Okay. So then I cover up that leg and I start to work on his uh, which would be his right leg. Remember, tuck it in. Okay, so my idea here is I'm going to take this leg and work it, stretch it, open it, connect everything to the center, open this leg, and let the energy, get the energy to run freely through it. So, coming back, lengthening. Jumped a little bit, I don't know what we hit, what we hit there. Remember now, the thing that really, if you notice all these muscles as I do this particular movement, these muscles loosening. Very, very important. Lifting the leg up. Okay, then I sit out. I start on the lower part of the leg. Get my rhythm going. And these are called pumps. And I'm working here on the toes, straightening the toes, gaining flexibility, to, the, to all of the various joints, particularly the ball of the foot, working on flexibility of the ankle. 
Then I come in from the top, and this is called grinders. What I'm going to do is grind this arch over my thumb to help to loosen. And then taking the whole foot, separating the bones inside, Most people aren't aware that the feet can move as well as they do. Yeah, good. Then I go back, do a few more pumps, and that's it for sitting out. Coming back, the chorus. Then we do what's called sitting in. I turn around and again putting his leg on my lap. First, is a little movement we call you dirty rat to stretch the whole foot. I'm just leaning. We use our body weight as much as possible here. I'm leaning. It, it, when you use your hands, you tend to grab quite a bit. So I don't want to do that. Nice soft hands, leaning. Okay. Then this is called little Jack Horner. See, like this, and I gaining flexibility to the ankle joint and all the connective tissues. So I take the ankle as far as it can possibly go in all directions, then leaning back, stretching all the tendons from the inside and turning it in, stretching the tendons from the outside, and then pump, working the Achilles tendon, all the connective tissues of the foot. And, and depending upon the person's problem, I would do, generally I would do a little more than I'm doing now, but I might do quite a bit more if they had foot problems, but John doesn't, so. Okay, and that's it, basically. For, for, we move the foot in every possible way. We take the toes, didn't do the toe play, separating the bones here in the foot. You're just taking the bones and moving them separately. It's very, it's a lot of fun and opening the foot. Okay, good. Off. Once again, the chorus. <laughs> 